going to enter using what is called the last step broken right so do you remember when i talked about um the breaker and i talked about uh price actually breaking your order blocks and then that order block actually becoming your breaker so that is what we are going to be using here difference is it difference is it is called the last step broken right so you can see that here so please note that you really really need to go and watch that previous order block video that is if you do not know what order blocks are before you can um and fully understand what i'll be talking about here right so you can see here that i've got my order blocks right that is the last opposite kangli before i move bearish kangli before i move which is my order block bearish kangli before that high right there right so let's see what happens as you can see that um these order blocks have been uh, respected all along right you can see that price has actually been respecting this order block but when we come to this order block we can actually see that price actually did what that price actually broke out of it and when price breaks out of an order block this now becomes your breaker and when price doesn't respect your order block and it actually breaks it then that is where price is most likely to change direction and that is why you actually saw this perp becoming what becoming bearish because we had our what? because we had our breaker there please note that this is my four hour time frame right because we had our what? we had our breaker there so um this is what we are going to be using right this is the same thing that you are going to be using we are going to be waiting for price to actually get into our order block and then we are going to, to actually wait for a breaker if i can just simply simply make an example of what i'm talking about here you can see that here that's my order block since it is a what it is a bullish kangli and we can see that this is a bearish kangli or i mean you can see that this is a bearish trend right so the opposite kanglis which are bullish kanglis that are formed before a certain move those are my order blocks so this was my order block this bullish kangli right here right and you can see that price did what you can see that price moved away from that bullish kangli and then it came back to do what to actually retest this bullish kangli right so you need to wait for price to move away from your order block and then um you, you you actually have to wait for it to actually retest your order block so here's another tricky tricky thing that you actually have to note and i'd really really appreciate you if you'd actually write it down because it's super super important right so we've got the four hour time frame right the four hour time frame we actually use the 15 minutes for our entries the daily time frame we actually use the four hour uh, uh the four hour time frame for our entries the um the the weekly time frame we actually use the daily time frame for our entries the monthly time frame we actually use the weekly time frame for our entries using this concept remember the monthly time frame use the weekly for for our entries the on your monthly order block we use the what the weekly time frame for our entries on our weekly order block we use the what the daily time frame for our entries on our daily order block we use the what we use the four hour time frame for our entries and on our four hour order block we use the what we use the 15 minutes time frame for our entries and i'm going to just simply make an example on the uh, the four hour order block meaning you are going to be entering on your 15 minutes um on your 15 minutes time frame that is if you have time in your hands right that is if you, you have time in your hands as you know that i la I, I i actually like entering from the four hour time frame going upwards but in this example i'm just going to be using the 15 minutes time frame for your entries right so you can see that here we've got our four hour order block meaning we are going to actually go over to our 15 minutes time frame for our entries right and when we actually go over to our 15 minutes time frame here we just wait for what is called what we just wait for what is called the last step broken and what is the last step broken on our 15 minutes time frame it is an order block that has been broken it is the order block that has been what that has been broken right you can see that all along price has been just respecting this of uh, that um uh, let me just make an example you can see that we've got our order block there price has been just respecting it coming back down so you, you just look for order blocks on your 15 minutes time frame remember i said that order blocks are on any time frame right you can see that price came 
down there to retest the order block which was okay you can also see that we've got that last opposite kangli there which is okay and now you can also see that we have what you can also see that we have these last opposite kangli right if i can just try and remove that you can see that we've got that bearish kangli right so once this bearish kangli actually gets broken right once this bearish kangli actually gets broken this high is now locked meaning price is now about to do what about to change direction meaning most of the time price is not likely to do what to come back on that high so once you get um once price actually breaks um that order block right there that is where you actually take your entry and then you put your stop loss at that high there and then you take whatever you actually want to take you see so i don't know if i'm making an example here but let me uh, I'm, I'm i'm not really sure if i'm clear enough here but let me try and make another example and let me try and repeat it so you can see that we are on our four hour time frame right on our four hour time frame we've got other blocks we've got other blocks right we've got other blocks right remember i said that here this is now a guide on how you actually enter a, when when price actually retest this your order block so you wait for price to form your order block and then you wait for price to come back and retest your order block right we've got our order block there we've got our order block there also we've got our order block way here right so if we can just also got our order block there also got our other block there right so let us look at places where price actually respected the order block let us look for places where price actually respected the order block and retested it without breaking it that is where we actually want to be taking our entry i already made an example with this one since you can see that price actually formed the order block and then it moved away from your order block and then it came back to retest it another example is you can see that they price done what price actually formed the order block moved away from your order block and came back to what and came back to retest it so let us look at how you would have entered on this particular order block remember the four hour time frame you use the 15 minutes time frame for your entries um on your four hour order block you use the 15 minutes for your entries on your daily order block you use the four hour for your entries on the weekly order block you use the daily for your entries on the monthly order block you use the weekly for your entries that is very important please that is very important so let us go over to our 15 minutes time frame since this is my four hour order block right so let us look at what really really happened here right you can see that here there is my order block right price moved away from this order block and then price came back to do what to actually retest this order block that is what we are to, we 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 are we, we are actually looking for we, we are waiting for price to move away from our order block and then come back to retest our order block that is what we are actually waiting for so let us look at where the high is here you can see that the high is actually this one there is the high right there so now let us look at the last opposite kangly before that high meaning the last order block before that high we can see that the last opposite kangly before that high was this bearish kangly right there meaning this was our order block right 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 and then you wait for price to do what you wait for price to break that order block you wait for price to break this order block right you wait for price to actually break what it is order. It, it, it there mustn't be weeks it mustn't break it using weeks it must break it using uh, a body of a kangly you can see that this 15 minutes um kangly kangly stick here the body of it actually closed below this order block breaking it right and that is why you are actually seeing price not being able to actually beat this high 
because already here it has proven to you that okay price is about to change direction price is now ready to actually move to the downward price is now ready to actually react on this order block so that is why price here then what that is why price here then reversed from this order block you can see price reversed from this order block right i'm not going to get in deep on the the the, the double top and pattern and all of those things i'm just going to touch upon some very important um things that you have to to note so you can see that price broke that last opposite king before that high and then what happened that that high was then locked so that means that price is not likely to come back and beat that high and price is most likely to just go to the downward and respect th that what that order block right so let us continue looking at some couple of examples right because this is very vital this is very important right so coming back again you can see that we've got um you can see that we've got this opposite kangli here i am assuming that you guys now know what order blocks are <laughs> right i'm assuming that you guys now know what order blocks are right so i'm just going to continue assuming that you guys know what order blocks are <laughs> so you can see that we had that bearish you can see that this is a, a bearish trend right and then we had these opposite kangli this bullish kangli right um price actually formed this bullish candle before it actually make made that low right there making this our order block right so what do you do then you throw remember when you throw your order blocks the triangle mustn't mustn't cover the body only it must also cover your wicks too right let's go you can see there right and then price moved away from that order block and then it came back to retest that order block remember for our order block 15 minutes time frame that is where we go over to our 15 minutes time frame right and then now let us look at the 15 minutes time frame we can see that here we can see that here we had our order blocks on the 15 minutes time frame we just had our order blocks our order blocks our order blocks right you can see price also retesting our order blocks on the 15 minutes time frame right remember that this now becomes your breaker right let me just okay let me not confuse you so we can see that the last opposite candle before that high was this one right you can see that the last opposite candle before that high right there was actually this one I hope you I, I hope you're still with me because this is very important I hope you are still with me because this is very important right yeah so you can see that the last opposite candle before that high was what was this one right so once price breaks once price breaks and doesn't respect this order block right once price doesn't reverse from this order blocks but instead breaks it it's over once price breaks this order block it actually means that price is not likely to come back here it actually means that price is about to change direction this right here is what we call the breaker right it actually means now that price is, is most likely to not change direction and remember that price also does what price also comes back and retest is your breaker price also comes back and retest is your breaker as we can see here let me just try and remove that one there right there is your what there is your last opposite candle before that high and price broke it using this full body bearish candle so what do you do then you enter after this breakout right you enter after this break uh, after price breaks your order block or you wait for price to come back and retest your breaker and that is when you can actually do it that is when you can actually um uh that is when you can actually um refine your entries by going to 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 the time frame lower than the 15 minutes and also looking for your breaker there right that is when you can actually 
refine it by going to a time frame less than the 15 minutes and also here you can actually look for a candlestick pattern or you can actually look for a breaker here too you can actually wait for price to 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 actually uh, but i i, I don't want to get in debt um in that so um if, if if you guys need a video on how you can actually then um refine your entries then um please do shout in the comment section but just know that this is all you need you are good to go with this kind of information you can see that price broke below and then it came back to retest that breaker so it's up to you whether you want to enter on the retest or you want to enter just right about when price actually broke out of that uh when price actually broke that order block right another example because this is so vital right yeah so you can see that here we had our what we had our breakers here i mean we had our order blocks order blocks order block or oh, let me just um throw an order block from the example that i actually want to print out right you can see here that this was the last opposite kangly before that move to the upper and price came to retest it that is what you want you want to enter when price is retesting your order block for our time frame 15 minutes entry right and then now let us look at what happened yeah it's this one and then now you can see that price done what you can see that price came to retest here right what is it that you actually do this is your low right the last opposite candle that caused that low was this bullish candle right so once price breaks out of this bullish candle you actually enter and you put your stop loss at this low there because this means that this low is actually locked price is, is is not likely to come back and create another low there is why here even price there is why here price wasn't able to beat that low because now this low was actually locked so you enter and then you just go you can see price then done what then actually respected it, it would have respected your analysis so this is very important right right so i need you guys to interact with me i need you guys to interact with me in the comment section as much as possible so that i actually know if you understand what i'm talking about so that i actually know if you fully understand what i'm actually trying to teach you guys right so don't forget to grab your 140 us dollars by signing up using the link that is in this video's description and receive yourself a trading bonus of 140 US dollars. I already said that, but it's cool. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys.